Hey, some giant smallmouth bass live right out there in them waters. Oh my gosh! Giant, giant, giant. No, I'm talking about a giant. Oh, what a beautiful sight. That's a big smallmouth, Ronnie. Hold him hook. Picture taker here. Here we go. Oh! Yeah, there's you one, son. Four pounds, seven ounces. All right, let's catch another. Folks, today I'm over here at Florence, Alabama. And the water right there that you're looking at, that's Pickwick. That's right below Wilson Dale. Weather conditions are perfect. Going into pre-spawn right here. So these fish ought to be biting really, really well. And I'm gonna be fishing with my good friend, Ronnie Leatherwood. Tell folks what you just said. It feels right, don't it? It feels right. Today's gonna be the day. Yes, <laughs> we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna wear them out, Rocky. <laughs> <laughs> you heard that, folks. He said we're gonna wear them out now. Normally when I come with him, we always catch fish. But first, we gotta go back here and catch some bait. And that's what we're getting ready to do. We're gonna show you how we catch bait and everything. And then we're going to catch some fish, folks. Appreciate y'all tuning in. I'm Rocky Drake, Rocky Drake Outdoor. That's Ronnie Leatherwood right there. Mm -hmm. See the rings? Now, folks, what we're looking for here, we're looking for yellow, threadfin shad, yellow tail is what we call them over here, or gizzard shad. And we got men that's flipping. Look right here, y'all. They flipping everywhere. Oh, Lord, the bait, I don't think, gonna be no trouble to catch. Come on. Man, you throw that thing good, Ronnie. I've had a little practice. So you just take your dip net. You pick it up, Ronnie. See? Just put them right in your dip net. By doing this right here, right here, see, you can kind of pick through your bait. That bait right there, that's about what we want, so ain't gonna be much picking. See right here? That right there is showing up, big yellow tail right there. See that thing there's six inches long. We're gonna put them in this extreme bait tank. You wanna just set them in there gently when you do that. You just don't, see, when you scoop them out of here, let me show you what you don't wanna do. You don't want to get you a big bunch of them like that right there, see? And you don't want to just flop them in there because when you do that, it knocks scales off of them and you want to keep keep the scales on those fish, they'll stay lively a lot longer. See that right there? That's a gizzard chat. That right there, they're real lively. They're real slimy and they got a little round nose on them. Right there. Look at that. Oh Lord, we're going to catch them fish today. There's a friend of ours over yonder. That's Rob right there. Now, Ronnie, what are we going to be looking for out here? What kind of places are we going to be looking for to fish? I'm going to be hitting the eddy spots. They're running, they're generating a lot of water today. They're generating a lot of power, pulling a lot of water. Probably 70 to 80,000, it looks like. So the, the, the fish, they don't like to stay in the current. They're going to get in the eddy spots. They're going to get in behind anything that, that will break the current. So that's what we're looking for today. We've got, we've got several spots where there are sandbars or where there are rock piles that I know about. Those fish will lay up behind them. These minnows will get pulled out of this canal and they'll hit down the bank. And that's what we're gonna work on. We're gonna work on the bank fishing. We may hit the bluffs. Roddy, what's the big small mouth you ever caught? Nine one. Ooh, nine, nine one. one. Caught it right over the yonder. Right now it's 8.36 in the morning. We just got here. Oh, third one just hit it and I didn't even have to, oh Lord, he's got it. No, it's a good one. I don't, hey, dude, I, I, you, you. No, it's a small mouth. Get the net, Ronnie. Get it over here, son. It's a good one. I made a jumper almost. <laughs> Look at that that's big small one. mouth, boy. That's I mean, a bubba fish. That's a bubba fish right here, y'all. Lord in mercy. I mean, <laughs> that's a bubba fish for sure. Goodness, look at him pull. Ronnie got there with that big net. I love it. Oh my gosh, what a fish. He's my first mama, Ronnie, don't miss him. Get him, get him in there, no. Got him. <laughs> Got it. Good job. <laughs> Look at that, y'all. I want a small mouth, man. Oh, gosh. Hey, that one right there is a... Oh, Lord. I don't know what... <laughs> Look here, y'all. See? Look here. You barely got him hooked right there. I mean, he come up and grabbed that. Oh, Lord, they're going to bite today. <laughs> I'm nervous. I can't help it. He needs some help. <laughs> I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Let's get that little hook out. Good job. Man. Hey, that fish air is a big... That's a, Oh, I got it. Hold on, let me get that hook out of my finger. Okay, look at that thing, son. That's a heavy fish right there. Got it. All okay, right. y'all. I gotta get my bubble scales out. I just put that big smallmouth in the mineral tank. A lot of oxygen there until I get my bubble scale. Well, I like to take care of these smallmouth. I don't ever like to get my bubble scales out until I catch a big fish because of bad luck. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> get him. I don't know. I seen you lying. See, on that? 
folks. Oh, no, it's a small mouth. Nice one, too, Ronnie. Good one. Hey, it's a good one. He's not a netter. He's not a bubba fish, but he's a good one. <laughs> All right. Hey, folks, look here. Look at what a beautiful fish, Ronnie. I know. Folks, I want y'all look at I want y'all look at the eyeballs on that thing. Look how red they are. Yeah. You know what that means? They mad. They mad. They mad. <laughs> they mad. <laughs> Some of the prettiest fish you ever laid your eyes on swim in this river over here, right here. Show sure the. Okay. <laughs> folks, Ronnie laid his pole down. He's going to run the camera here while I weigh this fish and <laughs> grab his minute and took it off with it. <laughs> okay. Look at that. What a pretty small mouth. Look at that. Look at that. What a pretty small mouth. Okay, I'm going to hook him up. I'm, folks, I'm sorry. I'm just nervous. <laughs> I'm breaking nervous. <laughs> okay. Put him back down in there. Cut these scales on. Right here. Cut them on. I'm going to clear them. So they go to zero, zero. Here we go. Ronnie, take a guess. 410. 410. I'm going to say 53. All right. Here we go. <laughs> well, there you go. Right in the middle. Four pound, eight ounces. Good one. Y'all see it right there? Yeah. Uh -huh. Look at that. Yeah, four pound, eight ounces. Good one. That's a heck, oh, Lordy mercy, that's a heck of a way to, to start out a fishing trip. We ain't been here 30 minutes. Ronnie done caught a couple, and I got this one right here, boy. So, boy, I think it's just absolutely beautiful fish. You know the best thing about this right here, folks, about these kind of fish right here? You can turn them loose and catch them again, or somebody else can enjoy catching them. So let's turn this fish loose. Lordy, <laughs> you got a hold of my thumb. <laughs> Look what a pretty fish, though. Look. Good, me as Lord have mercy. Well, I tell you what, Mother Nature, something else, ain't she? Absolutely. Oh, Lord. Good job, Rocky. Good job. I'm nervous. <laughs> when you catch them kind of fish, boy, you got to make sure you check your line right there. See what them fish do? They'll come up when they see you. You remember I showed you that hook down in that fish's mouth just a little bit? Well, when they clamp down on it, their teeth real sharp, and you'll get these little nicks all in your line right there. So take your thumbnail or your fingernail. And just run down it. And if you feel any little nicks on it over here, I'm telling you, this time of the year over here at Pickwick, you better check your line. Because if you don't, you, you get broke off. Make sure you ain't got no little nicks in it. You'll get broke off and you'll be crying all the way home, won't you, Ronnie? <laughs> <laughs> now, I got me a pretty good side mirror on this time. You see that stick up right there, y'all? That fish was in front of it instead of behind it. I don't know. It must be something down under there. But anyway, let's do this again. Ooh! He's after my mentor. Did you see that? He might have seen me pointing at him. Is he on there? Gunny got him. Ronnie, is he a big one? Oh yeah, big small mouth. All right, ready? No, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold him, hook, hold him, hold him. Get him up here, Ronnie. Ready now? Yeah. Yeah. There you go, buddy. That's a small mouth right there. <laughs> Look at that, y'all. I better reel my pole in. I had one chasing my manor back here. I don't want him to jerk my pole out. Hold on, we're gonna go up there and we're gonna weigh this fish around here. Pull that big small mouth up out of there, boy. Look at, look at, boy, I want y'all to look at that order. Beautiful small mouth. You gotta take a picture of him. Oh me. yeah, I will, I'll get the picture. Okay, we're gonna see what this one weighs. I'm gonna cut my scales on. Four pound 11 ounces. Four 11? That's one of the prettiest marked up small mouth. Look at that, look at them okay. colors right there. Look at Beautiful that. fish. Yep. That's a thing of beauty. Yep. All right, we're gonna let you go over there, Mr. Fish. Go on back. There you go. He took off. <laughs> now, what'd you just say, Ronnie, before you throw it up there? That's, there ought to be one right there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hold on. There you go. Oh, look here, boy. Oh, Lord. Just throw it behind. See that big tree laying down, y'all? Uh-huh. There gotta be a fish behind it. I just got my finger on the line right there. That way I can feel anything it grabs. I can just feel it in my finger right there. It runs from my finger to my elbow, plumb up to my shoulder to my brain. Just picking up on it, letting it drop down. Just picking up on it. Kind of fluttering that minute up with my finger on the line. See, I still don't have my bell shut on my reel. Wait a minute. Is this a fish? 
Yeah, it's a fish. Oh, he broke my line. He broke it. I just see. He broke that line. And that was a big fish on a big minnow. Look here. I don't know what to deal with that. It broke. I mean, just broke. See there? Look there. Golly. Now, I'd like to tell myself that was a stinking gar or something, but I don't know. I don't think so. I think it was a big. Mm -hmm. Whew, Lord have mercy. Well, you know me telling y'all about breaking your line right there, crying all the way home. Well, that right there was a great big fish. And I am going to be crying all the way home over that one, but. He probably wasn't over nine pounds. That could have been a 10 pound smallmouth, folks. Here's them hooks I'm using. I showed y'all a bunch. This is uh, a side drifting hook, number two. And I ordered them off Amazon. I just used polymer knot, and I'm gonna just tie this on here for y'all real quick, if I can without my glasses. Right here. I got one missing. Ronnie said he got one. Let me see if I can tie this polymer knot on it. Ronnie said he's got one kind of sniffing on his, so I'm gonna hurry up and tie this before we can get Ronnie catching his fish. See, look at it. it don't take a long time on polymer. Get him, Ronnie. Got him. Got him. Big him. Yes. Oh, is he big? Yes. Okay, a netter? Yes. Ronnie said he's a netter. I was trying to tie that hook on. Oh, oh it's a scoot. It's a bugle mile. <laughs> I like to think that was a bugle mile broke my line. I got re rigged. I got the hook right here and I got that split shot up there about, I don't know, maybe 18 inches above the hook. All right, folks, we're going to move on down the river here to another place. We're going to show y'all several places we're going to fish here today. Now, Ronnie right there, he's the bluff master. Look at him grinning. That's what his nickname is over here. All these, all these professional fishermen over here, all the guides and everything, I call him the bluff master. And we're going to fish right down through here and we're going to drift across this. Uh, there's something extremely interesting about this place we're getting ready to fish right up here. And I'll let Ronnie tell you about it when we get up here. Extremely interesting. Uh, has to do a lot of history right here. Ronnie got one of those a big one. Yeah. Ooh. Big old spot. Spotted bass, y'all. Big one. Big one, big one, big one. Nice one, boy. Get him back here and I'll scoop him. He Golly, him. look. Oh, he's almost a bubble fish. He's almost a bubble spot. <laughs> I tell you what, let's just bubble him and see. Look at that, y'all. Boy, I tell you, Ronnie, that is absolutely a beautiful. Look how fast that thing! Look at that thing. He butterball, ain't he? Yeah. What I, I, I say three fifteen. Okay, we're going we're gonna bubble this fish right here and just see. Ronnie said he weighed three fifteen. That fish right there weighs three pounds six ounces. Three six. Okay. You don't see it right there. That's a fine fish, Ronnie. Yeah. Ain't that pretty? Good. Look ain't at that. Of eggs. Look at that pretty thing. Yeah. yeah. All right. Thank you, sir. You take her off. Turn it loose. Go on out there. And lay them eggs. Like that. Yeah, look good at that. Great. Good, <laughs> good deal, Ronnie. I like, it. I like it. You see that gravel bar coming out right there? It come, runs way out in here. And there's a lot of history right here with this gravel bar. And Ronnie's going to tell us about it when we drift down here to it. Okay. During the Civil War, the Florence Bridge was burned twice. And, and the, the soldiers would cross the river and they would come across from there to here. They, and they crossed this many times. Of course, we're not too far from shallow battlefield. If you go up river to Savannah, Tennessee, one of the biggest battles of the Civil War was fought in right. shallow. But but Florence changed hands like 67 times during the really? Civil War. Oh, yeah. Mercy. Yeah. And right here is where they crossed the river. Yep. They come down that big hollow right there on the horses. They cross right here. They come out over there. Of course, back in, the river channel was way on out there. <laughs> We're getting ready to go up to uh, up to the dam and fish place up there. It's got a lot of big fish up there right now. Here he is. Oh, Lord, here he is. My goodness, here he is. There he is. Yeah, I got him. I don't know how big he is. Oh, it's pretty good fish. Yeah, you might want to get the net on this one. It's going to be a small mouth, too. I can just tell what he's fighting. Pretty nice one anyway. Yes, sir. Get him. <laughs> he wasn't really big enough to net, but you know, made me feel, made him feel like a big one anyway. Pretty fish right here. Get him, Ronnie. Don't yeah. go on. <laughs> Ronnie. I jerked a little bit hard. And we're just drifting this little current edge right here. 
Ronnie just got a bite. Yeah, he got my man. And uh, so anyway, if we can turn this and loose here, look at that boy, ain't that pretty? Yep. Just fishing right in the edge of this current right here. We're sitting in the slack water, fishing the edge of the current, which is right out there. You got him that time, ain't you? You want to get the net? Yeah. Is that a bubble fish, son? Oh, look at what a big spotted bass, son. I seen him swirl down in there. That's another big, Ronnie, you own them big spotted bass. <laughs> yeah, that's smallmouth fishing. What the world's going on here? <laughs> that's about like that udden you caught. Lord and mercy, look what a beautiful fish. I'm talking about a butterball. I tell you what, I'm gonna weigh that one. Three pound, eight ounces. Three eight, he's bigger than I thought he was. Three and a half pounds, spotted bass. Get him, Ronnie. Broke your line, didn't it? No. I just didn't get a hook in him. Oh, here he is. Oh my gosh. He is swimming up under this boat with it. Hey, Ronnie. Yeah, see him swimming up through here with it? Right. Yeah, that's way mine does. There we go, this is a big one here. Oh my gosh, get the net. No, I'm serious. If this is what I think it is, I'm talking about flat-footed big one. Yeah, it, it is what I think it is. Look at here, what a big small mouth. <laughs> Get in that net, oh. <laughs> Beautiful fish, look at that right there. Got him right in the snoot, look at that. That actually looks like a mean mouth, let me see. It is a mean mouth, see? Got that little spot on his tongue right there. Colored up like a small mouth. But that's got some spotted bass in him, sure does. Okay, let's turn him loose now. Okay, there we go. Oh, yeah, Lord and mercy, that's fun. Now folks, right here's where we started this morning. Let's see what time it is. Okay, right there, it's 3.36 in the afternoon. So we moved back down here to where we started this morning. And we've been uh, we've been quite a few other places and we've caught some other fish, but we just pulled back up here and this is where, like I say, Ronnie just caught that big one. Right down there is where I caught that big one this morning. So I believe it's some big fish on this bank. Hope we can show y'all at least one more before the, we run out of time this afternoon. Right here, y'all, right here. Catch fish right here. If we don't, it's going to be real surprising to me. There he is. There he is. Big, big one, big one. Big one, Ronnie. Get the net. Oh, he's a big one. Right there, y'all. Where I go. Oh, Lord, look what. Oh, it's above a fish, too. It's above a fish. I got to get on the trolling motor. Get him up. Lay him down. Get on the trolling motor. I got him, Ronnie. Y'all, we in this current right here. Y'all can see right here, boy, Lord, you got to stay on that trolling motor. See, we just pulled up on that little eddy right there. Now, don't y'all look here what I caught. That's a definite bubble fish for sure. Look at our. See, I just got him right there in the tongue. That little hook just popped right out. Look at that, boy. Oh, Lord. Let's see what this in here weighs. That fish right there. This largemouth bass weighs four pounds and two ounces. Four two. Good one. Four two, Ronnie. Good one. fix tearing me up can of these barbecue flavored vienna sausage mmm i'm good god bless thank y'all for watching